Hey guys, this is the real Spartan here, and uh, if you're wondering why I'm not in the warp room and I'm in piston in the way immediately, um, yeah, video audio failure. Failed recording, basically. Maybe wondering, how do you have all your stats like the same as last time? Answer is, um, it's confusing. Yeah, I didn't save on my console because I expected for it to fail because I saw some, you know, random weird stuff happening in the video and I was like, wait a minute, is this even going to lo render? And I tried, you know, loading it before it actually uh, finished, before I saved, in case it went bad. And, lo and behold, it didn't work. So yeah, I'm going through Piston It Away for the second time. But now I have a, uh, at least a more updated view of what I need to do. Wait a second, did I? Oh wait, hang on, I forgot. I did save, but I got the gem and the crystal. Like, the secret gem path, not, not the secret path, ugh. I got the death root path and the crystal, and then I saved because of the, uh, me thinking it wasn't going to work. So, yeah, um, you won't see those. Just imagine that the gem is on the death root path, because you, this level requires backtracking, like, um, in whatchamacallit, call hard crash, but you have to do the normal level first, and you have to go back to the, to the um, death route. You know, call hard crash was the exact opposite. So yeah, you got these enemies that you can just slide into, you have the other enemies that you'll need to either spin into or jump on, and uh, yeah, that's this level. Now you need to keep this one enemy alive because you need to jump on it to get back to the death roof. And uh, apparently you can spin away those like shrink ray bolts. I don't believe it, but people say it's true and uh, I don't know if they're actually telling the truth or they're lying. Making up shit. I, I guess I'll try it if I have a spare Aku Aku. And the reason I didn't take that pillar is because of massive delay there. But uh, yeah. Also, extra life there. But, yeah, as you saw, there's a, one of these boxes. And you're going to need that bouncy crate to get back. Well, granted, you don't need it. You can uh, do a tricky slide jump. And you can actually get around the uh, nitros there. It's hard to pull off, but it's possible. In fact, it's what I used to do before I thought, Hey, why don't I just use the bouncy crate to get back? Okay, so that should leave us with 35 or something. 36, okay. Also, for some reason this question mark sometimes doesn't show up when you come out of the uh, bonus route. So there should be, like, two boxes this way left. There's one. These guys only push you back, they don't deal any damage, but they can push you off cliffs. Also, you can jump on them and it's a bit glitchy. <laughs> the game does not expect you to be able to jump on them. And here's the last crate. Now, the Nitro crate is actually on the death route path, which is why you have to do it last. Also, because there are enemies there that prevent you from uh, coming back. Namely, ones you have to jump on to uh, cross gaps. Oh, you can spin it away. Interesting. I wish I knew this when I was a kid. Then I could have done these levels a lot easier. Because I hate these damn death beams. You imagine getting past that part uh, that I was just on without using the spin to r slam away the bolt. It doesn't make sense, you can spin it away though. So yeah, death route path time. I'll tell you when the gem would appear. Also, timing is needed. Also, if you do a little thing and you can... Oh, almost died there due to a thing. If you get over it and you manage to destroy the Nitro before attacking that guy, he just falls into the ground. It's really weird and glitchy. So yeah, that enemy is namely the one enemy that's preventing you from coming back and doing the normal route. 
Oh yeah, this one, this part is actually the worst part. Yeah, I have to jump from each of them. Got to jump there as well. I don't know why that one's hovering. And this should be leaving on 69. Yep, there we go. Hey, at least I got this one on camera. Uh, as you can see, there's the gem and the crystal there. I forgot to point out where the normal gem would be. Uh, oh well. So we're going to go into Rocket now. Now, there was no warping animation there, as you could see. Which is a bit confusing. Now, this is one, one of the more interesting levels. Yep. No gravity. So, you have uh, left and right, which go left and right. Up that makes you go down, and down that makes you go up, which I do not like. I mean, why? Uh, granted, some people like this, and I like this for some games. But this control scheme does not work with that very well. And you use X to go forward and circle to go back. So there's no jumping, there's no sliding, there's just spinning. It's uh, basically just control your momentum, and you've got it all good. There's also these um, uh, berries, or whatever they are, that are explosive. Also, there's earth out there, so where are we? Where are we in the grand scale of life? Is the cake truly alive? Also, TNT crate. Okay, guess what you have to do? I didn't even hit that. It was like, it was close, but you know, no cigar. Also, the sound sometimes cuts out for no reason. Then again, it, it sometimes the sound just cuts out for randomly in my recordings anyway. So you got this guy. He's like the same guy from the first game. You gotta spin him into a death pit or whatever. I don't know why touching the actual red part of those electrical cables would actually electrocute you. I mean, they're meant to be made out of rubber or something. So that you don't electrocute yourself when you touch them. So it's easier to fix them in case they do malfunction. That's a poor design choice right there, Cortex. Or should I call you Neo? Yeah, uh, Cortex's real name is Neo. That's why he has the N on his head. That's why he uses N on everything. So yeah, uh, Cortex predates Metaton. I should stop making Undertale jokes. That game is like half a year old already. Will the hype die down? Uh, probably not. I mean, it's, it is a really awesome game. Like, the question is, will Vinny ever like, shut up about Chrono Trigger? The answer is no, because it's a good game. Yeah. Yeah, it's like the, um... What? Totally hit that. You saw me hit it. So yeah, um, this is eight minutes in an episode. Jeez. I wish it didn't recording fairly and I could, uh, you know... Do something better. Mmm, we could do night fight. Yeah, I'll do night fight and save pack attack spaced out for the last uh, episode. You may be wondering why I'm up up uploading this video um one day after the last one. That's because it is the 22nd today. And the finale is going to be uploaded on the 24th. Why? Because I cannot be asked to make a recording on the 25th or later. Because Overwatch is coming out on the 25th, and I'm going to be glued to the screen when that happens. So yeah, this level is just like a totally fly, except it's technically becomes before it. Because, you know, totally fly is like 26, I think, or 27. But nevertheless, uh, if this one comes before it. Obvious oh, jump cut is obvious. So yeah, there's a death route here. I'm pretty sure that the death route is not... You know, you don't have to backtrack here. I think you just have to complete the level twice. But I'll do the death route first because it's probably the more consistent of the two. At least doing the death route lets you know 
Like, the death route has a guaranteed gem on it. Uh, the normal route does not. Because of the fact that, uh... Oh yeah, is this the one that has the... You have to backtrack from the death route? Hang on. Um... Yeah, this is the one. Hang on. Yeah, I'm having- I'm taking a die there. Due to the fact that, um, I want to get this all done in one go, and having that memory of how the uh, death route works should gre help greatly. Oh uh, yeah, this has- this will be a pain. Oh wait, I can jump on it. Okay. That wasn't too bad. And I weigh spaceships. Who makes these things? I mean, Cortex might, but why? Okay, checkpoint. This should make this next part a whole lot easier, because all I have to do is backtrack to the uh, death route and grab two boxes. You gotta grab me two boxes, Morty. I have to lick my balls, Morty. Original Doc and Marty uh, sketch is interesting, and, but weird. Oh yeah, forget, you have to actually grab this Firefly. Because this one follows you like a... a good Firefly. It's like the other ones in the level. So make sure you get rid of these before you grab the next Firefly. Because this guy is still not really much of a help, it seems. Okay, yeah, I, I, I thought that there was an easier way to do this than to just slide through. But, uh, I guess there isn't. So yeah, that's the bonus stage. It's not much of a bonus stage, because... Bonus stages aren't really important anymore due to the fact that I have 99 lives. Okay, so... Next off, we go back into this place and grab those two boxes. Yeah, it wasn't too hard, was it? Just need to remember that the jumps were here. Okay, and then we go back to the normal level. Eh, this isn't so hard. I mean, granted, there's no Aku Akus here, but, you know. Do I need them, really? Uh, the answer is, kind of. I mean, it's nice because it's like insurance. And again, when do you need- why do you need insurance if you're as good as I am? AKA stroking my EP. My god, this episode is short as hell. It's 14 minutes. You know what? It's only 14 minutes into an episode. Uh... You know what that means? I'm gonna do one more level. One more level. Because I've had episodes that were 23 minutes long, and I want to make this seem a bit more consistent than it is. For some reason you spawn into this pack level. Yes, both jet pack levels are in the final warp room. This one is considerably harder though. And by considerably har harder, I mean uh, slightly harder. Granted, there are no Aku Akus in space, but, uh, yeah. There's more Nitros here, so, that's to be considered. God damn, the inverted, the vertical inverted, but not horizontal inverted, has got me running in a loop. I mean, you can't really invert one without inverting the other. Jesus, I hate the control scheme here. Sadly, this is console, so you can't rebind it. Also, hate that these wires are kind of unpredictable. I don't want to have to wait for live wires. They're live wires, they should be alive and lively. Also, how does Crash breathing in space? I mean, these guys are cyborgs, so they have an excuse. But Crash is not wearing a mask or anything. It's like that one episode of The Simpsons, you know that one, that has the stupid Bart and Lisa watching the stupid old thing and they say, 
goggles on people, and then they put on goggles to cover their eyes, and um, uh, they can suddenly breathe in space. And then one of them lights a cigarette, just to prove how stupid it is. Uh, I'm not talking about my eyes, the goggles, they do nothing. Okay, so there's an Aku Aku. It's probably the last one in the game or something like that. Yeah, the trick to that is to wait until uh, you can just slide, like, swoosh into the middle. I totally touched that red hot beam of death. So yeah, these guys aren't a threat as long as you just wait. Also, a uh, disco party. It's like uh, that one level in that one game. Which game and what level? Uh, I forget. So yeah, just ignore the berries. Yeah. So yeah, you have to wait until these things stop firing in the direction you need to go in. Or you can, you know, just let them go into the middle because it doesn't really do anything. Who designed this space station? And that's a rhetorical question, by the way. Just don't go into the comment section and write, Oh, it's Cortex who made it. Isn't it obvious? Because it is obvious. I don't need to know Cortex made it, because he obviously did. Screw it, I'll just sacrifice the Arco Arco. I can't be bothered waiting. Also, what restores the gravity to this situation? Answer is nothing, and my earbud has sank deeper into my ear hole. Give me those ear holes. So, yep, pack attack is complete. I just did like most of the level. So, yeah, only last level is uh, spaced out, and it's gonna be in its own episode. So, I'm spacing them out. Yes, that is a meta joke, and we are 93% completed. There's only, uh. Hang on a second. Oh yeah, boss fights count as a percentage. So yeah, that's gonna be the end of this episode, and almost the end of this Let's Play. All I have to do now is uh, go and get the stuff in Spaced Out, and uh, that's gonna be it. I just completed like a 14% in this one episode. It's about the same range as I do normally though. So I'll see you guys in the final episode. Bye bye.